Hey, hey, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on this Saturday, August the 10th, 2024, in the place to be. I think I was on earlier and I may have put out the wrong date. It doesn't surprise me, man. I, I, I You know, I do not keep up with dates and times, you know, because um, we're, we're being taught that it doesn't exist anyway. You know, space and time, time and date. So, you know, I don't remember a lot of stuff like that. I have my mind on other things. But I wanted to come on through and talk about something that happens every political, major political season. We get these, um, this mental gymnastics of words. And I told you a lot of words have no value anymore. They, they're meaningless. But yet we go around not understanding the power of words and the energy behind words you still need to be careful and monitor your language and and verify what you are advocating for or what you are an advocate for especially if you don't understand there are always a dog whistles during political seasons always that has been going on for decades upon decades upon decades you know, the dog whistles, contradictions, none of that changes um, during our political times. It's, it's just, that's what, that's what happens. So, a dog whistle, you, it, it, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a metaphor, okay? So, you have to understand what it means by metaphors of a dog whistle, Okay? So let me just look it up real quick so we can see what's in the dictionaries and how how the dictionaries have changed. Yeah, dog whistle political meanings. And that happens all the time. And it's very strategic. It's very, I mean, it's extremely indoctrination at its core. You know, and that's, uh, that's where all this stuff comes in. That's why you have to be properly thinking. Otherwise, you can get yourself swept up into this deja vu, deja vu, deja vu. Okay, dog whistle. In a political metaphor, it says, um, It is the use of coded or suggestive language and political messaging to garner support from a particular group without provoking opposition. Well, that has changed quite a bit because a lot of people can care less of whether or not they're provoking opposition. You know, a lot of people are provoking hatred, provoking divisiveness, provoking, provoking, provoking. So a lot of people can care less about that concept. I'm telling you, things are changing and evolving in a negative fashion. And you have, we need to do whatever we can to neutralize that into a positive neutralization. But we like to go extreme. We like to go extreme, extreme, extreme. And negativity is winning. I just want to make that very clear. Negativity is winning. So, you know, and then it says here is a concept is named after a ultrasonic dog whistles, which are audible to dogs, but not humans. Uh, but in a political sense, it is. It is coded language, coded and suggestive language, and it's supposed to not provoke opposition, but it does. I mean, it's crystal clear opposition. So they might as well not even call it a dog whistle because it's ir irrelevant. They're not, you know, it's not business as usual, of course. So there's this, um, supposedly, because I don't pay too much attention to it too much. I pay attention to things, but I do not pay attention to a lot. I don't get all deep involved in stuff. So, again, every political season, there's some, there's a word or a concept that's thrown into people's uh uh, out in the universe, out in the world, out in the earth, but it penetrates our subconscious and it affects our com consciousness as well as affect our thinking clearly and effectively. Patriot. You know, to be a patriot means what? It signifies a person who loves their country and is ready to boldly support and defend it. Okay? Remember that that has that was that was a theme back in I think it was 2020, and now Ballard is a supposedly you being used as well, and it says great courage in the face of danger, especially in battles. Uh, you know that they award 
Okay, remember everyone, remember. The, the, you need to, when you're thinking, okay, you need to apply all your sensing, okay? Is it rational, reasonable, and logical? You need to apply subjective thinking, objective thinking, abstract. You need to know that you're grounded in your reality. You're not fantasizing. You're not delusional. You're not loser, uh, uh, hallucinating. And be able to provi uh, provide these uh, metaphors, these figurative languages, and how you are discerning things. Do not just be literal about things, okay? These words, valor, patriot, those are dog whistles, absolutely. But they're also talking about the bravery of someone, okay? Um, and it's, it's it, and usually these um, contradictions, when someone's talking about someone's lack of, of bravery, what does that say about the person saying that? Okay, pay attention to the words that are coming out of certain people's mouth. Who demonstrates br bravery to you? What does bravery mean to you? Let's go to bravery. I mean, everything's crystal clear. If you take your emotions out of it, suspend your egos, suspend your um, beliefs, suspend stuff for a minute and try to pick up, pick up uh, what is being said. Bravery. Okay, courage. Courageous. Now, who's acting courageous and with courage? All you have to do is look at the patterns and behaviors of people. Pay attention to the patterns, behaviors, and results. You get your answers. Okay, but no one needs to know that you're, that you're doing this inward, because everything's inwardly uh, cultivated. You go within yourself to figure out, okay, what is really going on with me when it involves this or that and the other. Politics is a game. And if you don't know how to play the games, you're going to get fucked. And we've been fucked for as long as I've been living, as long as my parents have been living. But I understand the importance of having proper representation. Okay? One person can't do it, however. And so we need to stop putting all this stuff on the shoulders of one person. Okay? It requires a, at least a million people or even close to a billion people to re reconnect ourselves back to a collective of people that are that are ushering forward towards peace universal love that's what it's about evolving the consciousness that's what it's about okay so pay attention to the dog whistles which are not business as usual they like i said you they might you know they they are people are saying things directly to you they're not being indirect about nothing Okay, and that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of value in that because you can't say that you didn't understand what this person meant when they're saying directly what they mean. I told you we have been living under the guise, masquerading as a democracy instead, but we have been living as a uh, dictatorship. Okay, our leadership has been operating out of dictatorship, not democracy. Okay, these political games are not necessarily about the American people at all. But you have to be strategic and creative and figure out how you can dismantle all of that. How to um, unravel all of that and be creative how to strategically make your way in and, and, and attempt to eliminate it. Attempt to resolve it. Okay, so valor. <sighs> That's, that's the word being used this political season. Okay, the last time, if I'm not mistaken, it was about patriot. You know, people who love their country and ready to boldly, and, and sub, to boldly support and defend it. That was, that's why we had January 6th, that idiot behavior, because people were taking things literally. Okay, when you are attempting to make decisions, it has to apply literal figuratively, metaphors, whatever it takes to get you to stretch your thinking, okay? So now it's about valor, about bravery and courage. <laughs> Has anyone been modeling that for you? Is anyone model bravery to you? Who are they? My father was a brave man, okay? He had to 
put up with so much. He modeled bravery for us. Okay? Because he had to put up with a lot of bullshit just to just to be a man. He was a masculine man. Okay? And provide for all of us. But he had the, the gentleness to take care of us. Myself, my other siblings, my mom, his grandchildren, and his great-great-grandchildren. So my father displayed and model bravery okay because he went to work regardless okay and when he made mistakes he took responsibility for it and paid for it literally figuratively and metaphorically by being arrested okay I made that clear a couple of times okay my father was not perfect thankfully okay my mom wasn't perfect my mom was complicated so understand what bravery means to you understand what what valor means to you it says great courage in face of danger okay um and who's displaying that for you okay and who are cowards pretending to be masculine men but they're nothing more nothing less than feminine straight males okay jealous of the power of a biological woman therefore they need to interfere in her reproduction uh, interfere in her her biology okay pay attention to these things okay and no one has to know okay I'm going to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains at the end of the day it's about peace it's about universal love okay it's about calling out these cowards you know whether they are in dresses or whether they're in jeans it doesn't matter what people are wearing as well, okay? The battle is for your consciousness, okay? And therefore, you are responsible for evolving it and protecting it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over stars and moon and mountains. I have a lot more to say, but trust me, I'll be back.